Yena, it's your girl Bernice Matu from the Liberian Heritage Society. And today I'm here with Mr. Mamandu, one of the bike makers of our way. It is a Liberian brand that is not only specialized in making bags, but also in accessory too. And yes, they are beautiful. Hello, I am Mr. Mamadou Silla, African bag designer. It's nice to meet you in person, Mr. Mamadou. Mr. Mamadou, what is your favorite part or what do you enjoy about making the Airways bag? Okay, the Airways bags, I enjoy it because the bag I'm making for Airways is a special bag for me. And uh, yes, and uh, she gave me many ideas how to make my work. The, deck, the, the design I never did before. It's okay for me, everything is fine, no problem. I enjoy our way. Well. About how many bags do you make a year for Awe? I can do many bags for a year. But wow. I, don't really need, I don't really know how many bags. How many? Well, yes, but every year can be many things. Bags, belts, wallets, many things. Wow. How is making bags for Awe different from the others? Okay, our way back is different from the many people back because of she can do her own design and bring it to me and then I can make the bag to, to look like the way she wants. Yeah, that's why the whole design is different for the other design. My favorite part of designing for our way is the ability for my imagination to become something tangible that others can utilize and love. I get inspired in so many ways, but traveling is one of my favorite. Going to countries and discovering aspects of the countries that most people will not venture to and finding nuggets by interacting with locals are one of my favorite things that I really try to I try to utilize to allow me to rethink the way I process. Therefore, from there, I, ins I get inspired. Our bags are created in a way that is very unique. Majority of the products are sourced in Liberia. Our cloth are handwoven in Lofa. Our wood is acquired from the National Forest. Therefore, we are very fortunate to live in a country that mass production have yet to take over. So acquiring materials can be a little difficult, but yes, still you get that raw and natural process that makes the product even more unique. When it comes to fashion, I am not a huge fan of fast fashion. I am very much a old schooler. Um, I have the same bags and the same shoes for at least 10 years before I rotate them. I believe in quality as opposed to quantity. Over the last year, um, I've really thought of the question in terms of who am I designing for. And I realized that I am not designing for a specific demographic. However, what I am doing is designing for personalities. When you look at the collections that we have, they are meant to attract a different group of people from all walks of life, irrespective of your race, your sexual orientation, or your religious affiliation. It's all about personality. Our, for example, our best bag is about vibrancy and being out there and being very exposed. Whereas our Loma bag is more subdued in heels. So therefore, anyone from anywhere in the world can be attracted to our bag. Additionally, I feel that when you are in a space where others have been, it is very important that you do have some sort of reference points. Hermes and Brahmi are the two designers that have really inspired the way I design. Brahmi focused on patterns and colors. Hermes focus on leather work and the combination of those two have really helped me decide on the kind of collection I would like to reveal. When I think back when we started our way and we started off with five bags, over the last few years we have grown up to maximum 30 bags. 
we normally have an order range from 15 to 20 bags. Therefore, there is a growth going on, which I'm very happy for and I wish to continue. But that also means that it's a lot of work and it's very important for me to continue working for our way because I know that the labor and the time spent doesn't benefit only me, but there's a slew of people behind me that I also dependent on what we do and looking forward to the growth because not only do we economically flourish, but we also in terms of our knowledge expand.